A new deal allows foreigners to leave the Gaza Strip while around 1 million Palestinians still trapped inside are told to move south. Amidst cross-border clashes, a Reuters video journalist was killed and six reporters injured in Lebanon by a rocket apparently fired from Israel. Pamphlets rained over Gaza on Saturday. The pieces of paper dropped by the Israeli military issued a dire warning to around 1 million people. Head south and evacuate as soldiers gather at the Israel-Gaza border. For those heading south, the Israeli Defense Forces says they have opened two safe routes out of the north. The European Union reacted with concern over the evacuation order. About this uh, warning of uh, one million people leaving Gaza in 20, the north of Gaza in 24 hours, I said, and I am saying that representing the official position of the European Union, is that this utterly, utterly impossible to implement. Hamas, by contrast, is urging people to stay in their homes. Meanwhile, a senior U.S. official has announced that Israel and Egypt have given the green light for foreigners to leave Gaza through the Rafah crossing. There's been a marked increase in tension and violence on Israel's northern border with Lebanon. Israel fired shells over the border into Lebanon after its own positions came under fire. The Israeli army also says it's killed several people trying to sneak into the country. It blames the Lebanese government for every attack launched from its territory into Israel. מי שיגיע לגדר לחדור לשטח ישראל ימות. כל אירוע הוא באחריות המלאה של מדינת לבנון והיא תישא בתוצאות. Caught in the crossfire while filming Friday's border clashes, Reuters journalist Issam Abdallah was buried on Saturday at a funeral attended by journalists and Lebanese lawmakers. Six other journalists were injured when a shell reportedly fired from Israel landed among them. Israel described his death as tragic. The, the, the missiles, the Iron Dome, uh, everything is, is going on. I don't know what. Oh my God. You saw it, you saw the explosion. So this is the Iron Dome. Uh, this is the Iron Dome working to, to, to destroy the missile coming from uh, Hamas. This is what's going on right now in, uh, in Ashkelon, which is one of the most dangerous cities uh, in Israel because it's very very close to the border with, uh, uh, with Gaza, uh, empty, empty city. But it's not only Ashkelon, it's also, all the, all, uh, also other cities in, uh, in uh, Israel are totally empty, and uh, the only people that are out are the members of the army and the police. And the people are staying home, go to the shelters, or uh, they leave the city, they're going to the, to the north. Of, uh, of Israel, but even there, it's not safe. Poland is heading to the polls on Sunday for what some observers have touted as its most important election in decades. Voters will determine whether the ruling conservative, Eurosceptic, Law and Justice Party will win an unprecedented third term, or if the liberal pro-European civic coalition and its partners will take over, and emotions are high. Wkurzyło mnie to, że mało kultury, że dwie główne partie e, prezentują bardzo niski poziom cywilizacyjny. E, natomiast te partie, które są e, sensowniejsze, niestety nie mają siły przebicia. Recent polls suggest that the majority of voters will back the law and justice party, but that it could come short of an outright majority meaning that it might have to court the support of the ultra-nationalist confederation party to stay in power. More than a hundred hot air balloons carrying pilots from Brazil, Australia, France and other countries take off in New Mexico for Albuquerque's annual international balloon fiesta. According to organizers, this is the largest ballooning event on earth, attracting more than 500 balloons and their crews from all over the world. This year's event will be crowned with the Ring of Fire Solar Eclipse, which will be visible on Saturday from the ballooning grounds.